Yeah. You go to a warehouse, you mm-hmm. put on a haptic mm-hmm. feedback yeah, mask, yeah. Yeah. you shoot zombies. I'm yeah. so addicted. I'm so addicted. It is my favorite thing. There's a thing called Deadwood Mansion. It's the most fun game of all time, by yeah. far. You have a shotgun, and there's zombies coming at you. And when yeah, they no, get my, you, my my zombie game is Arizona Sunshine. Oh, what's That's that like, one? What's oh, that it's one? it's you just like it's it can be multiplayer, and there's horde mode where you just get in there, and they're like four friends, and there's just ho- like waves of zombies come, and you is that to Oculus? Kill them all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to try it. Yeah. I haven't tried that one yet. That's my. It's very therapeutic. Oh. You just wait until they come into point blank range how long before you guys develop some sort of a haptic feedback suit where like it covers the whole body oh man um is that possible it's possible um i think that there's other things that are probably more important to deliver so i guess taking a step back a lot of how we think about the goal here is delivering like a realistic sense of presence right no technology today gives you the feeling as if you're like physically there with another person, right? You're, you're like interacting with them through a phone. Right. You have this like little window. It's kind of taking you away from everything. Um, and that's like the magic of augmented and virtual reality is like you actually feel this like presence, like you're there with another person. And right. so the question is, okay, how do you do that? And it's like, there's like a million things that, that contribute to that. I mean, obviously first just being able to look around and have the, the room stay 